Sea's south coast has some stunning attractions that are definitely worth visiting. Welcome to Jamaican Things, and today we'll be counting down 10 fascinating attractions along Jamaica's south coast. Before we take you on a quest to explore the south coast of Jamaica, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Number 10. The Noisy River When it comes to chill spot destinations, the Noisy River is a great place to visit. It is clean, it is cool, and it is cozy. This delightful river, located in Oxford, Manchester, and pretty close to the Trelawney and St. Elizabeth borders, has plenty of space for everyone desirous of experiencing its numerous swimming areas and mini waterfalls. Noisy River is the perfect spot for anyone seeking to cool down or just relax for a while. Number 9. Little Ochi Alligator Pond, South Manchester, often mistaken for being part of St. Elizabeth, is home to this attraction. Also on location is the Little Ochi Seafood Restaurant on the beach. Little Ochi offers some of the best and freshest seafood you will find in the world. It is a great setting, right on the beach with rustic ambience. Old boats have been given touched roofs, raised on stilts, and outfitted with benches and tables. Pick your fish, shrimp, lobster, crab, or octopus, have it weighed, and say how you want it cooked. So, if you are vacationing on Jamaica's south coast, dinner at Little Ochi is definitely a must. Number 8. The Milk River Mineral Bath Located in the Milk River community of southwest Clarendon is the Miracle Pond. Legend has it that a slave who was brutally beaten and near death had returned fully recovered after visiting a hot spring mineral. The hot spring in question is the Milk River Bath. This reputation still stands, and the healing waters at Milk River still allures national and international visitors to cure various ailments. Number 7. The Appleton Estate Rum Tours Next on our countdown is the only tour that will leave you slightly intoxicated. The Appleton Estate Rum Tour takes you through the history of rum, the estate, and the rum making process. You'll get to see the juicing and distillation process that Appleton has perfected over the years. And if the historical aspect doesn't entice you, then it helps to add that there are rum tastings before, during, and after the tour. Number 6. Lover's Leap Definitely a lot to be said about the Breadbasket Parish of Jamaica since almost half this list takes place there. Home to the highest lighthouse in the Western Hemisphere, known for the most sweeping views in Jamaica, standing at 1,700 feet from sea level, this historic property has been reborn as a local hotspot. Many stories had been told about two lovers who, rather than be taken from each other by a jealous plantation owner, chose instead to run away together. The lovers raced to the edge of the cliff, hence the name Lover's Leap. The food at Lover's Leap is as local as the crowd that gathers there. Expect a menu filled with Jamaican faves, including codfish fritters, fish tea, jerk chicken, or even bami and festival. Number 5. A Compound Town A fascinating aspect of Jamaica's colonial past is that of the Maroons, runaway slaves who made their homes in the mountains and raged war against the British. This store will leave you feeling like you've gone back in time and witnessed the growth and preservation of Maroon culture in Jamaica. 
a proud culture that still perseveres in the 21st century. The tour closes with a traditional Jamaican maroon meal. You'll even get to meet the bush doctor who collects and makes herbs and medicines to heal people. Number 4. Wyas Falls The shortest place name in Jamaica, Wyas Estate is a cattle ranch. However, the real attraction is Wyas Falls, the other side of the property. It is home to seven waterfalls that cascade into different pools around the property, as well as a canopy ride that glides from the top of the waterfalls to their base. Combined with a bar and grill, this makes for a relaxing trip regardless of your ability to swim, as there is also a lazy pool. Number 3. Treasure Beach Traveling on Jamaica's south coast, you'll discover a treasure chest of coves and bays, where the Caribbean meets or sandy and sometimes rocky shores. A mixture of dark and white sand, secluded swimming spots, the south coast promises a range of possibilities. A favorite beach community of both local and visitors alike is Treasure Beach, a spot that surely lives up to its name. Don't miss the Treasure Beach Triathlon held each year. Swim, bike, and hike through the scenic communities. Number 2. Floyd's Pelican Bar A trip to Jamaica wouldn't be complete without having a red stripe at Floyd's Pelican Bar. No matter if you're staying in Negril, Ocherias, or Montego Bay, it's worth a day trip. No other bar will ever compare, due to the fact that the bar is in the middle of the ocean, located offshore in the Caribbean Sea about one mile from land. Don't leave the Pelican Bar without carving your name into the wood. If you have a license plate or flag, bring that too. Floyd will proudly hang it up inside the bar. Number 1 Bluefields Beach. Bluefields Beach is Jamaica's number one South Coast attraction. Bluefields Beach in Bluefields, Westmoreland is an easy to find stop along the main road which links the St. Elizabeth and Westmoreland parishes. The beach is beautiful with powdery soft white sand and big shady trees offering relief from the scorching hot Jamaican sunshine. Bluefields Beach is the perfect spot for anyone desiring of a quick pick-me-up or for someone craving some waves and salty air. On top of that, Bluefields Beach is a popular destination for locals and tourists, especially on weekends and public holidays.